Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got something slightly different. We're going to be creating um, basically a JavaScript uh, program which we run in the uh, Google Chrome console. And what this program does, it passes data. It can be from any website, but in this tutorial, we're going to be scraping data from the uh, IMDB website. And what this program does, it takes um, the title of the movie, the rating, genre, duration, and it stores it into a JSON object or a JavaScript object. Um, and then what we, what we can do with that is, you know, add it to a program which can convert it into kind of table data, CSV, that kind of thing. So just to give you an example, um, I'll copy the script here. And if we come into a, this is the Fight Club page on the IMDB website, we'll go into the console, uh, run this script. And what this does, it initializes a JavaScript object up here within a list. It takes the details we require from the web page, such as the title, release year, rating, and then it copies the actual object itself to the clipboard at the bottom of the script here. So now the data for Fight Club should be stored on our clipboard. So if we come to VS Code again, press paste, and you can see we have our JSON object for Fight Club. Uh, this will work with any film. So for example, if we go to Pulp Fiction, for example, um, I'll just copy that script again. And if we go to our console, clear that out for now, run the script. Again, the object's copied to our clipboard. We can come into VS Code and there's our object for Pulp Fiction there. And what else we're gonna do with this? I've created a program as well, where we can paste this object notation into our text input and it gives us the data back in a table format. Okay, so uh, it's a nice little project, really. I, I find it useful for sort of tasks at my job where I can't actually use um, some of the great parsers out there like Py um, Python's Beautiful Soup, that kind of thing. So I've had to just um, develop my own kind of way of doing things in the console. It's pretty basic, but it does the job. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, guys, and cheers for watching. Okay, guys, so to begin with, um, I've just created one JS file here. Um, it's in a movie scraper folder. We've called it console scraper.js. Um, and then we're going to go into our console. You can see I've got, uh, we're going to be scraping IMDB today. So um, what we're going to be looking at is we want to get the title of a film, um, the year it was released, the actual PG rating, the duration, the um, genre, and that should be it for now just to show you how to do this. So first thing we want to do here is we want to open up our console. So right click on the uh, web page and press inspect. Okay, and then what you want to do. So we've got our elements here. Um, if you click on this little um, arrow up here in the top left of the uh, dev tool section, we can um, actually select our elements on this screen itself. So the first thing I want to do here is grab the title of this um, film. So we'll say, um, once we click on that, once upon a time, you can see it takes us to this H1 section here. You can see it contains our title. So we're going to say, right click on this little H1 tag, we're going to say copy and then we're going to say copy JS path. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to VS code for now, because this is where we're going to store our code for the time being. So I'm just going to say, um, we're going to set a variable first called, um, movie details. It's going to be a list containing, um, some JavaScript, a JavaScript object basically. And then the first thing we want to do here is we're going to say movie details zero to um, basically index this first object within this list and then we're going to set the um, we're going to set a key a key as well so we'll say the key of this is going to be title for the movie title and then we're going to say equals and then we're going to copy that path that we just added okay so this is what's been copied from the um, google chrome console and then here we're just going to say inner text Okay, so just to show you what this code does, if we copy it, let me just set this object in our console first as well. Press console, press clear. Okay, so we'll set that object first. And then if we copy this second line of code. Okay, and press enter. You can see we get the title there as a string. So what we've done here is basically selected this object within this list uh, we've added a key called title to this uh, dictionary and then we've also given the, that key the value of the 
title of the movie. So once upon a time in Hollywood here. Okay. So next thing we want to do is add the year. So we'll say um, same kind of code again. Movie details again zero for the first dictionary object. We'll say release year for the key. And that's going to equal. So if we go back to our element section in the console, um, we can select the year here. So if we click on this little arrow again, select this year. You can see it takes us to this little A tag section. Again, right click, copy, copy JS path. And then we'll just add that in there. And once again, just say inner text. Like so. So now, if we copy that, add it to our console again. You can see, oh, yeah, that's correct. So if we press enter, you can now see we've got the year. So just to check where our um, current dictionary is at the moment, if we just say movie details, again, zero, just to get our dictionary up, you can see so far we've got a nice dictionary object with uh, our title and release year. Okay, so let's keep things going. Again, we'll come underneath this. Right, we'll say again, movie details, zero. And this time we want uh, the rating here. So the age, 18. So we'll say um, rating and that equals. And then again, if we come to our element section, okay, all right. Right, so in this case, we've got this div here, which contains all these details. So we're going to need to slice this just to get the, the actual rating, because that's the only information we want, really. So if we come down, you can see yeah, there's a few spans in here. So what we'll do is we'll copy the, um, the parent div element, JS path, <clears throat> and then we'll say dot inner text. And then here, we want to use the slice method, so slice bracket and then this takes the first index we want to go from so in this case it's zero because it starts here and we want, we, want, we want to go to the second index basically so we'll just put two okay so now if we copy that go back to the console and you can see we've just got 18 there which is exactly what we want so that's great um, next thing we want to do is the duration so let's just grab that now as well underneath so say movie details zero duration now we go back to our element section so yep so if we click on that we have this element this time element here so we'll just say copy and we'll say copy js path again once again in a text Once again, whack that in the console. And finally, I just want to get the um, the genre as well. So we have comedy here. So we'll just say movie details zero. Uh, we'll say genre equals and scrap that. Right click as always, copy JS path, put that in there, dot in a text. Okay, come back to the console again. And there you go, we have our genre as well. So now if we just load up our movie details object again, it has to be the first index of zero. And you can see we have our title, release year, rating, duration, genre. And now what we can do with this is in our console, we'll say copy. This is um basically a function that only works within the actual Google uh, Chrome console itself. So it won't actually work in a JavaScript um, file. So we'll just say copy mo uh, movie details. Okay. And then what that does, that will copy our object. So now when we paste, you can see we get the uh, kind of JSON format object. And then what we can do with this um, is we, I've created a program here, which takes in uh, JSON notation and we can just um, paste it in and it will provide us uh, the data in 
this kind of format here. So we have a table format. So then we could just copy this to a CSV file or, or just store it how you want really. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this in the next video, but let's just um, clear that for now. So underneath here, I'm just going to say copy movie, oh, not that. Again, this isn't really a JavaScript function, so it's a bit, it only works in the Chrome, as I said. Okay, so what we can do with this is then we can copy all of this code and then we can go to any movie we kind of want really on the IMDB website. So I don't know, let's just go on Avengers for now. Click on that. And then if we right click again, go to inspect, go to our console. And then what we can do is we can just paste this as a whole script. Okay. And then that, what that does, as you can see here, it copies the movie detail. So when we paste now, it should be the Avengers information. You can see the title, Avengers, release year 2019, rating 12, genre action. And once again, we can come into our program and it creates the uh, table there. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. I mean, that's just a simple uh, web scraping kind of script we can use in the Google Chrome console. Um, I've had to use this for kind of projects at work because our tools are quite limited. So... I've had to resort to using basic tools such as the console because we can't install um, kind of, you know, proper working or well-developed web scrapers that are on the, online at the moment. So this is just a quick a quick fix, basically. But yeah, as I said, next lesson, I'll sh next tutorial, sorry, I'll show you um, how to make this um, little program here where we can copy the JSON object, um, paste, it, paste it into this um, input field here, and it will instantly create a HTML table providing, you know, um, our JSON data in this table format. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed that today, guys, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Cheers.